Hi, now here we have another example where we've got to differentiate with respect to x y equals all of x plus sine 2x cubed. So if you would like to have a go at this, if you haven't done it already, just give you a moment to pause the video, come back when ready, and you can check your work solution with mine. Okay, so let's see how you got on. Now, when I'm doing something like this, I would normally do it straight off. And that's what I'm going to do first of all, okay? It'll only take, say, about a minute to do. If there's any point that you don't understand, then at the end of this video, after I've done it quickly, I'm going to go very slowly through it, okay? Just so that um, you can see how we could do it fast, all right? So, what we do is we just essentially put dy by dx, and for something like this, this is what we call a composite function to a power, and uh, we use the chain rule. And I would look at the inside of the bracket, call it t, so I've got y equals t cubed, and I differentiate that, giving me y, dy dt equals 3t squared. In other words, 3 multiplied by what I call t, which is x plus sine 2x, and then I drop it down by one power, and that is the power two. Now I need to work out what dt by dx is, and I need to differentiate the inside here. And the differential of x is just simply one, but when it comes to differentiating sine two x, I've got to use the chain rule again. And so I would look, think of this as sine t, t being the 2x, differential sine t with respect to t is going to be cos t, so it's going to be cosine of 2x, and then I multiply it by the differential of what I call t, t was the 2x, so differential of 2x is 2, and essentially that is it. All I need to do though is just tidy this up. And so I'm going to copy the first part down, 3 multiplied by x plus sine 2x, all squared. And then for this part here, I'm going to just call it 1 plus and put the 2 in front of the cos 2x, so we get 2 cos 2x. And that's it. So that's the quick way, that's doing it just straight off. But I do appreciate that uh, for some it might be too quick. So what I'll do is we'll break it down again in slow parts. So I mentioned that to do something like this we do through the chain rule. And uh, I've got plenty of examples of the chain rule using it on my website examsolutions.net. But uh, basically if we have dy by dx it's equal to dy by d something multiplied by the same d something by dx. And I nominate this d something to be dt. It's up to you, you might see du written there in some textbooks. But it's as if these cancel out, just leaving you with dy by dx. So the chain rule. So when we're doing something like this, for this example, we've got y equals x plus the sine of 2x, all cubed. And so if I therefore say y equals t cubed, okay, where essentially t is the bit in the brackets, t equals x plus sine 2x, then when it comes to differentiating this, I can see that dy by dx, okay, is going to equal, well, dy by dt. It's going to be 3t squared, 3t squared. Okay, that was essentially this part here. I nominated the bracket to be t, and I said, right, okay, I'm going to get y equals t cubed, differentiate it, I get 3t squared. Then I've got to multiply it by the differential of what I call t. In other words, dt dx, I've got to multiply it by the differential of this with respect to x. Now when I differentiate this, I'm going to get the differential of x 
is going to be 1. But then I've got this problem of differentiating sine to x. And you may recall that I said, right, I've got to use the chain rule again. Essentially, what I'm doing is say, let's just say we let capital Y equal sine 2x. Then what I've got is that capital Y is equal to, say, sine big T, where that big T equals 2x. So when it comes to differentiating sine 2x, I've got to do dy by dt again. Now I know I've got a small y here and a small t, but I've changed that to a big y and a big t. Okay, But essentially, I've got to differentiate sine t, and the differential of sine t is cos t. So I just put that in brackets there, cos t. And I multiply that by dt by dx. And if I differentiate this with respect to x, I get 2. So can you see that I've got 3t squared, 3 multiplied by what I nominated t to be, which was x plus sine 2x. And that is all squared. And then in the bracket here, I've got the 1 plus, and then you've got 2, times cos t. And t was the 2x, 2 cos 2x. And that's what I ended up with here. And with practice, you should be able to just differentiate this straight off as I did here. Okay?